Hi everybody, I'm Bill Sanders and this is Watch Art Sci, the art and science of Watts Collection. Uh, today we're going to take a look at uh, Bernard Wellcrafted Collection and I think you're going to like this collection. I certainly did. And uh, to start off, I want to take a look at the uh, a watch that I really didn't know anything about. And this is the uh, Cartier Caliber de Cartier Diver. And so uh, when I first saw this watch, there are two different shots of it there. One in one kind of light and the other more of set up for a loom. The one on the left is more loomish with a rubber strap and the one on the right has a textile uh, fabric strap. Now the thing that, to me that's most interesting about this watch is the Caliber 1904 MC, which is the MC stands for Manufacturer um, Cartier. And the other thing was that it was designed by Carol uh, Forcier uh, Kasapi. Now she had won back in 2012 or so the Watchmaker of the Year, which is a big deal. I mean, you've got people like uh, oh, uh, uh, Jean-Marc uh, Viderec, for example. He was the first one. You get people of the cal. I mean, really top caliber designers. And the other thing I liked about it is that it has double barrels. It's got, uh, I've got on my um, uh, FP Journe uh, Chronomet Souvain, and it also has double barrels, but the double barrels are not for uh, extending the, uh, the charge, but rather they're for smoothing it out, smoothing out the, by using the 60% of, uh, of the charge, the uh, first 20% and the last 20% are unused because that's where you have greater pressure or less pressure. Well, Kasapi um, made this one uh, in the same way, used the double barrels to smooth out the, the flow. And so you end up with, it's called a twin series coupled barrels. <laughs> really a very cool watch. Uh, I think it's a pretty good buy too, because uh, most people don't know about this. Okay, now something that a few people do know about is the Omega Speedmaster Professional. Now, this one uh, is the Master Chronometer Caliber 8800. This is another one that's got a neat caliber in it. It's got a coaxial caliber. It's got this strange 25200 uh, VPH, which is 3.5 hertz, which is below 28,000. It also has Metis. Metis is uh, another version of COSC. I'm not sure what, uh, they always get in these kind of things, but it's chronometer uh, quality. Now, the thing that's interesting about this is that I think Bernard is really a diver. I got a picture of his watch on, and it's got a picture of uh, diving tanks. That uh, sounds like a diver to me. Uh, and the and the two diver watches uh, in that context. Uh, the one with the diving, shown on a diving sleeve, has a rubber, uh, in fact, both of them probably have this uh, a rubber band to it uh, so that you can actually use it for diving. Another very, very cool watch that I like a lot. All right. Um, now, this next group, I, I grouped some here. Uh, first of all, is the Nomos Club. Everybody loves that. That's a neat one. That's got the uh, alpha movement in it. And... Um, the they're 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 very good good watches. I mean, high quality watch to have at a decent price. They're hand wound also. Now, the one that was the biggest surprise to me is something that's called the Ball Engineer M Challenger. I I saw the Engineer M in there. I thought, well, that was a typo. And I started trying to find out about it. And this is an in-house caliber. The M, the M stands for manufactured. So it's a ball manufactured caliber, 7309, CUSC certified chronometer. And uh, I, was, I tried to find out more about it. I There, there wasn't really a lot about it, uh, Just, but it was something that they manufactured. How and other kinds of details about it, I, I wasn't able to find, but I did find that this is something they put together themselves uh, by ball. Now, the Omega Speedmaster, this is a sapphire sandwich. 
I got a little picture of it, so that's how come the picture isn't bigger than that. I wish it had both sides of it, the front and the back, but that's okay. The sapphire sandwich has the, uh, this is a hand wound version, and you flip it over and you can see the movement. Uh, and uh, to me, that's one of the, if I ever got a Omega Speedmaster, this is the one I'd like to get. I really like this uh, watch a lot. All right. Uh, now, here is another watch that's just a very, very cool watch. The Zsa Lacoutre Master Geographic Sector Dial. Now, the Master Geographic is like is a world timer, and then it's uh, between about, oh, between five and seven-ish, you have these, the different um, other other uh, GMT, so to speak, the other places that you want to keep time, the dual time on it. And um, I, and then it's got it uh, about 7.30. It's got a, a little day-night uh, timer. Uh, I have something similar to that on my uh, Parmesan hemispheres and really helpful because if you're going to have dual time, you want to sort of keep an eye on uh, where the other time is. You don't call them up in the middle of the night or something. Uh, but this is a cool watch. I mean, for for what I call a world timer, I think this is a, this is a very nice one. Okay, uh, now, it's got three Seikos. He sent me a, two big pictures and one little picture, so I figured, okay. He's got a, uh, the Grand Seiko GMT, which is a high beat, and uh, it's uh, 36,000 um, vibrations per hour. I think it's really beating like the heart of a scared rabbit that's really moving right along. And it's got what's called the Mount um, Awadi dial on it. And it's a nice looking, nice looking watch. Now, the other one, he sent a little picture. I really like the looks of it. It's the Grand Seiko Spring Drive with what's called the Karazuri dial on it. And this was, um, this is another kind of drive in a Seiko. So you got, uh, you got the high beat and then you have the uh, spring drive. Now the, the one I happen to like the most is the Seiko Presage. Uh, this is the 60th anniversary cro um, chronograph with a Yushuri lacquer dial. Those lacquer dials, I just, I like them a lot. They're just, there's something about them that looks very cool. Okay. Um, now, this final one is the Glass Hoodie Original Panomatic Lunar. Now, this is a, not only is this a moon watch, it's also a big date watch. I mean, you, you look at this thing, this is, in some respect, it's almost a perfect watch, if you, if, especially if you want, like a moon face to it, perfect in a sense for an everyday watch. And um, this one has the, the main dial is big enough to see the small seconds or big small seconds. And then you got a great big window for the, uh, for the date. What a great watch. I really, really like this watch a lot. I mean, it's just sort of a, it's kind of watch that you have a it's sort of a low end high horology watch, but it is high horology in it. But it's also an everyday practical watch, and it's also cool just to have a little the moon phase in there add something to it. I think that's a little extra. Well, anyway, uh, this is Bernard's what I call the well crafted collection because I think that's exactly what it is. It's got really cool choices. Uh, and I think the Cartier uh, uh, and the uh, ball watch with the in-house movements is extremely important in a choice because a lot of those models have neither. <laughs> uh, and here you have uh, what Bernard did. He found two that did. Well, listen, as always, I'd really like to hear uh, what your any suggestions you have for um, Bernard. And my own suggestions in, in looking at this, this is a hard one. Um, I think, I, there's, I don't think he needs any more chronographs. He's got that. Maybe uh, something in a real dressy dress watch for a more executive suite kind of watch. Uh, I've been very high on um, 
uh, uh, Breguet, so they have some nice ones. A Classique would be a good one for that. Uh, something along those lines, that might be add something really nice to an extremely good collection. Like I said, this is not, not someone who needs a lot of advice, but, you know, like to hear what you have to say. And uh, until next Friday, uh, this is Bill Sanders for Watch Art Side, the Art and Science of Watch Collection. And this is always also an invitation to subscribe if you'd like.